Acidic Ninja here as a new player on Manus 08's channel. Um, as you, some of you may know me as Rocketman679 from my Minecraft server, and if you know me as that, you probably have heard and uh, know from Manus's other videos that we've recently gotten a house together with our significant others, which is pretty awesome because uh, he's a pretty cool guy. And now we get to do some Let's Plays, and I will be doing a series on Kerbal Space Program, which I have up right now. We also plan to do some multiplayer Let's Plays. I know there's a, a Portal 2 co-op thing in the in, in, in the talk and in stuff, so that'll be pretty cool. You guys can look forward to that. Point one six version of KSP just came out. I have not played this version at all. Um, I played quite a bit of point one five after I bought the game, but this is going to be fairly new to me also, so you guys get to watch me hurt my derp. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, get right into the game and see what's new. Uh, a couple things you'll notice, um, I can just point out right off the bat, that are different from the demo version, is the space plane hangar and the tracking station, which have their own effects. Uh, the space plane hangar is basically a vehicle assembly building for building planes, which you can then launch from the runway, and the tracking station, uh, I'll just go to that right now, lets you switch between missions, because you can launch more than one mission at a time around Kerbin, and you can, you know, interact with them between the two and stuff, and I guess docking will eventually be implemented. Another new feature in uh, the paid version is a second moon for Kerbin, called the Minmus. So let's see if they added anything else cool, no other planets. I know that's going to happen eventually. People start saying, oh, landing on Minmus is so easy, we need other planets. And, uh, yeah, fuck them. So, I've got a hard-on for space planes, so I'm just going to get started right on that. So I will start with my favorite. Uh, I can already see some new parts in here. This is new. That is a giant fuel tank. And it's bigger, too, two meters in diameter. This, I'm guessing, is the half seas version of it. But that is a lot of thrust. Um, that's huge. And weighs a lot. And that weighs even more. Although that's kind of cool because I can use this as a fuel tank on like some of my long range planes. Let's see what else is... Uh, nothing particularly new in here. Uh, you might have noticed uh, C7's aviation pack was added vanilla um, in the paid version. Oh, this is... these are new. Launch stability enhancer. Oh, oh, that's cool. It like scales. Okay. Oh, that's actually really creative. It's uh, yeah, structural decoupler. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder if they fixed these hard points and pylons, cause I don't know if you used any of them and you've played the full version. These are these two parts are just absolute garbage. Um, and those are all still there. Util oh, okay, this is a lot of new stuff. Uh, still no decals, still no crew. Oh, well. So this is my ejection seat. I put a parachute in for, you know, when shit gets real, because shit tends to get really real, even in a video game. And uh, advanced SAS. Typically, my designs don't need the SAS to fly, but it's kind of handy to have to use as an autopilot. Alright, let's see what this does. Besides crash. Oh, I should put a ladder on this now that I can, uh... I just forget now my Kerbal's, uh... EVA, as you can see, I... Oh, there it is. Up. Oh, shit. Yep. You can see I can, uh... EVA now. i get back in there. F is to board, I guess. We don't love you. And, oh, they... No, they, uh... Still look like ass. But they're functional, which is all that matters. Let's set the train a little bit. Right. Uh, hold Alt and um, use the WASD keys to set trim. Uh, not sure if that's in the demo version, but plain SAS might. Why? You make my job. 
Jen look like an idiot. I guess the intakes don't have any effect on it. Alright, you SAS here. easy to stall this has become. This is actually very similar to a design that I used in, uh, could just be the, the advanced canards that I'm trying out now, but this is actually very similar to a design that I used in the uh, 0.15 version. It was not this difficult to fly. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. Let's see if I can land this, meaning you guys get to watch me crash, because the crash is fun and satisfying. This game is just not the same without things exploding. Although I suppose that's true of most games. It's just not really satisfying until something blows up. Son of a bitch. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 Yeah, I'm good at this game. I am professional. I am awesome. Yep, we landed. And flight. Jebediah Kerman boarded flying nipples. Okay, so let's see if this is any better without these retarded looking canards. I don't know why they haven't fixed those yet. They really should. They, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but when they're pitching up, they actually point down. And according to the physics, it does actually... My computer just vomited. It does actually pitch the nose of the aircraft up, but it looks retarded. Yeah, that's acceptable. That is acceptable. Let's see if this flies any easier. I need a name for my computer. You should give me some ideas, post some comments or something. I need, just, I, I, I need, I need something obscene sounding just to yell at my computer when it starts making random fan noises and shit. Okay, this is this is much better. <laughs> Maybe I just had the canards a little too far forward. Oh, I wonder if the monolith is still there. I should go check that out. Looks like it. Yep, there it is. It's right there. You can see it. I'll, uh, I'll have to go some other time, get a little closer, get a good view of it. It's just a little monolith. learned that this landing gear has brakes. I did not know that. I was very confused. Every time I would land my jet and I would get it on the runway, I'd be like, yeah, runway! And then I would be like, oh shit, now what? 
So eventually I started attaching parachutes to my airplanes, which was cool, but you can only do it once, which sucks. And then I was looking through some of the controls, because I wanted to bind some bullshit, and then I saw the button that said, Wheel Brakes B, and I was like, Those wheels have brakes! And was very happy about that. Alright, now let's build something obnoxious. What is something absolutely dumb-tarted that I can put together? Ooh, that sucks. Needs more spinning. Needs to spin more. Look at this guy. He just gives no shits. He's about to die, but he doesn't care. There we go. See? Look at this. Look at this. Like a champ. Ride that bitch. Oh. <laughs> he crashed into the terrain. That's funny. He crashed twice. How does that even happen? I'm so confused. Uh, ooh, this has a heat shield on it. Hmm. I wonder if re-entry physics have been added to the game. We must find out. To the space. Don't make me cry, Rocket. Whoa. 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 Shit. Poor Jebediah had a very scared looking look on his look. Jeb is not. Oh, this is not Jeb. This is Bob. Bob is not happy. Bob is terrified. Bob, why are you so scared? Look at you. We haven't even left the runway yet, and you're just flipping a tit. Oops. Not like that. exploding everywhere that sucked okay we're we're gonna we're gonna take a different approach to this because obviously this is not working <laughs> oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> they exploded. no problem we're going to space with this shit video editing. No, well, we ran out of fuel. Not quite, but almost got into orbit. Probably would have if I hadn't stalled because of the one FPS and three seconds of delay. But we will work on that for next time. I think I will end the episode right there, and uh, hopefully next time We'll actually get into orbit, and you can see how that uh, how that can actually happen with a space plane. But uh, this was Acidic Ninja bringing you Kerbal Space Program, and I hope you will subscribe and like and favorite and follow some of uh, Manus's other videos, and stay tuned for some multiplayer stuff.